It's an absolute procession. It's a glittering gold in Glasgow for Femke Boll. Dutch track and field athlete Femke Boll has been going around breaking her own world records this season. Because of this, fans are wondering about where that leaves American hurdler and sprinter Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni. While Bull has been making headlines recently because of her track prowess, McLaughlin Lavroni seems to be a little out of the limelight a couple of months before the Paris Olympics. On that note, a highly anticipated showdown between the Netherlands Femke Bowl and American 400-meter hurdlers world record holder Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni will be one of the biggest storylines in athletics at Paris 2024. But how do they stack up in the 400-meter flat and 400-meter hurdles? When the track and field athletics program gets underway at the Stade de France during the Olympic Games Paris 2024 this summer, one of the most eagerly awaited showdowns will be that between Femme Cabol and Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni in the women's 400 meter hurdles, and potentially the 400 meter flat. It's a face off that has been bubbling since the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games where the American sprinter won the 400 meter hurdles title in a world record time while Bull came third. McLaughlin Lavroni then announced her intentions in 2023 to compete over the flat, which has only upped the ante. Mind you, it's in that event that the Dutch athlete has been making waves as a two-time world medalist in the hurdles event, especially indoors on a short track. Full disclosure though, McLaughlin Lavroni has yet to commit to the flat for Paris, and Bull has not run the distance at either of the last two world championships. While that may be the case, Bull has lowered the women's 400-meter world indoor record at the Dutch National Indoor Championships for the past two years running. When she did so last season, she took more than three-tenths off what had been the longest-standing world indoor record, lowering it from 49.59 to 49.26 in Appledore. While she did not compete at the World Athletics Championships over the flat in 2022 or 2023, her indoor feats have had observers wondering what she might be able to produce on a full-size track, especially if McLaughlin Lavroni, as well as Olympic and world champions Shanae miller Owebo and Marile Polino, were there to push her. Additionally, Bull's stellar performances in the mixed and women's 4x400-meter relay for the Netherlands have shown that she can hold her own against the best over the single lap. What's more, with the reigning world champion's absence in the 400-meter hurdles at the 2023 World Championships, Bull's trajectory is only upwards. For her part, Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni remains a relatively untested quantity over 400 meters. With her planned major championships debut over the next event at the 2023 World Championships falling through due to injury. She has only run the distance twice internationally, a 49.71 at a Diamond League meet and a 49.51 at a World Athletics Continental Tour goal, both in June 2023. She did put in a 48.74 at the US Championships, a time that was enough to rank her as the 10th fastest woman of all time. And she is a bona fide challenger to Miller Owebo and Paulino, even if her lack of international experience at the distance may be a drawback. Nevertheless, the same cannot be said in the hurdles, where even if Bull is a clear second, no one else comes close. For context, Sydney lowered the world 400 meter hurdles record four times in the space of just over a year from 2021 to 2022, including at the Olympic Games in 2021 and World Championships in 2022. Her 50.68 at those World Championships remains the only time anyone has ever run under 51 seconds. Bull, on the other hand, sits second all time in the 400 meter hurdles recording two sub-52 times in 2023 to become just the third woman under that mark. This season, she is once again exhibiting her dominance in the sport. She opened the season in Mets with 49.69 and then improved to 49.63 in Levin a few days later. The 23-year-old then sprinted to 50.55 in the heats by the following weekend. Then, by her fourth race in February at the National Indoor Championships in Appledorn, she improved her own record of 49.26 set at the same venue last year when she cruised through 200 meters in the lead and then powered over the finish line in 49.24 to dip under 50 seconds indoors for the sixth time in her career so far. And so, 
one year after breaking Jarmila Krachtilova's long-standing World Indoor 400-meter record of 49.59 with 49.26, Bull improved her own mark by two hundredths of a second. With that, she now holds six of the 12 fastest indoor 400-meter times in history. At the recently concluded 2024 World Athletics Indoor Championships, Femke Bull enhanced her status as one of the stars of track and field with a stunning triumph as she broke her own world record to take the 400-meter title in Glasgow. Yes, you heard that right. She broke her own record for the second time this season. The Dutch woman stormed to 400-meter glory with a notable time of 49.17. Bull said afterward, I knew I needed a really good race to win this gold. I knew I had to open fast. And once you can open fast, you can keep going because you'll die anyway. It's amazing to also run a world record again. I was hoping to be in the 49. My coaches thought I could do it, but I really wanted the gold. Her teammate and training partner, Leica Claver, was second in 50.16, marking the first time in world indoors history that two Dutch athletes reached a podium in the same event. We've trained so hard together to make this a Dutch 1-2, Bol said. Anyhow, Bol is just the fifth Dutch athlete to win a world indoor title, after Elie van Hulst, Nelly Koeman, Nadine Borsen, and Sifan Hassan. It is her 15th medal at a major international championship. While Bull has been breaking world records here and there, Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni appears to be out of the limelight. Well, her reason for it is completely understandable. After all, the Olympic gold medalist at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics had not been a part of the World Athletics Indoor Championships due to her injury. Nevertheless, she is expected to return soon ahead of the Paris Olympics and its qualification round. It may be soon, given that the Olympian was seen training on a track in Los Angeles. She was seen running, performing a few drills on hurdles, and stretching along with the middle distance runner and Tokyo Olympic medalist, Aething Mu. And so, while she may not be competing yet, it would be best to remember that... Of the 10 fastest times in history, history, Sydney holds six of those records. <laughs> when asked how she feels about going to the Olympics, she said... You always have to respect your competitors. Yeah. Obviously, feeling good, but the target is always on my back. So, yeah. just getting prepared for that. She has been busy behind the scenes, though, as she recently unveiled her signature New Balance collection. A few days ago, New Balance grabbed headlines by celebrating Sydney as a fashion icon of sports and culture by unveiling her personally designed signature collection. To honor Sydney ahead of the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, the company released Sydney's latest signature collection on the first day of the month. The collection features unisex performance and lifestyle products with exclusive footwear and apparel, showcasing her elevated everyday aesthetic. Whether we'll see her wearing something out of her collection in her future races remains to be seen. Overall, it goes without saying that Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni and Femme Cabol will be two of the favorites to win the Paris Olympics 2024 in the 400 meter hurdles and the 400 meter flat. Speaking of Paris, watch this to find out if this athlete will be there.